Sorry, everybody. I need a director. You know what I mean? I need like a technical director. Okay, we should be live now. Yeah, we are. And then the question is, am I getting audio? And I'm going to check this myself because y'all too slow. You know what I mean? I need like a technical director. Okay, we should be live now. Yeah, All right. We are. And then the okay, question excellent. is. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Whew. Wow. Technology, it's beautiful. All right, um, so I'm just going to not touch OBS then. At least we got stuff going there. Uh, you should have video uh, now coming on the uh, on the stream on Discord. All right. Okay, so let's talk about, yeah, no, I was just curious about what your experience is with Canvas, if, it, if it's great, if it sucks. Uh you know what I mean? If uh, you know how, I'm going to do a quick survey. Canvas, not Canvas, not Canvas. I mean Teams for live class. And we'll go, I'm going to do one is sucks. Um, two is meh, three is okay, four is rocks. That's good, rocks being good. And if you could just, you know, drop one, two, three, or a four there, I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out whether I'm going to just kind of like nicely go quietly you know into the night and do it because i've been a little bit of a rebel you know so jansen asked are you here jansen yeah you asked a really great question uh, actually several really great questions but on tuesday about whether you can make change from the inside you remember this and and i honestly well, the, the mark of a great question in my mind is one that 48 hours later, you're actually still thinking about it. And I have been actually thinking quite a bit about it. Just, you know, just, it's about, it spun up a background thread and it's just been going. And I, and one of the things that I hadn't really uh, accounted for Jansen was the, the size of the organization and the relative impact, you know, power of the individual, right? Because the smaller the organization, the more impact you can have. The larger the organization, the less relative, that's just, proportional there's that but there's also organizations which are universities by their nature tend to be very um inertial and you know that that inertia works strongly against making changes even important ones and so people down in the rank and file tend to uh you know resist the resist the machinery at their own peril and that's true of universities. It's also true of government entities. So when you are at a, uh, an, a, a, a university that is also a government entity, like any state school, you have kind of a double dose of, of that inertial thing. Um, all right, what have we got here? Okay, when I know what I, um, so, in a university setting and you're like, you know, random professor, your chance of affecting a big revolution is about zilch. So that's my, that's my ultimate conclusion, Jansen. Um, okay. What I would also really appreciate is further votes on this survey teams for live streaming that where you've participated. Uh, one is sucks, you know, Two is uh, meh. Three is okay. Four is rocks. What I would really love is if you wouldn't mind. Again, this is, I'm just trying to. This is my last chance in any class this semester. And when I pop out in the spring, I'm going to try to be a better, uh, a better behaved citizen. Bottom line, and maybe acquire a greater fluency with teams. Frankly, uh, I've been doing a lot of other business meetings on teams and and depending upon what we're doing it's not too bad uh there are other situations where it seems really bad so i don't i don't really know 
So any, any feedback you'd be willing to give me, I would deeply appreciate it. Okay. All right. So, um, and uh, I'm also I'm also encouraged by the fact that the in that, that once I discovered that there was in camera uh, that all I had to do was throw a switch on Canvas, and you could then see in class recordings where there are some students you know like I said a big cross section have um, uh, gone. Um, hang on a second. A big cross section of, of you have gone down with uh, with COVID, and and then you know you need to be able to see. And I'm trying to find something that blends a little bit more now that the university's kind of caught up with functional solutions that work. Initially, it was not the case, and there was a lot of lost classes because of the infrastructure. Um, while I was plugging away with Discord and everything was running great over where I was, so I, but I think that's I think that's changing a little bit in terms of the universities infrastructure and process kind of kind of catching up so anyway that's all for that um okay let's do let's do the literary extravaganza shall we um uh results by the way were about what i expected um the you, you should know that uh the ones that made it in here were the ones that i just liked there's no science to it really and and i'm kind of unapologetic <laughs> well you know Hashtag sorry, not sorry. I'm doing the best I can. There were some that were like, no. The other one is I tried. There were some of you that, for unknown reasons, um, maybe just lost track of the fact that that you were supposed to do these. Were all supposed to be about the sort of the global and social, whatever the name of this class is, computers and society. That they were actually supposed to still be on topic. And most of you got that, but there are a few that didn't. And sometimes, um, uh, sometimes I let them in, you know, like I'll allow it just because it was good or good enough. And I'm still trying to get some credit. Um, I did scrub everything to uh, just first names, just for privacy protection. For some of you, and if you want to, you know, make a mark, go put it on your blog and go public with it. If not, you know, we'll... It'll, it'll die in obscurity here in this class. But um, I want to start with the first one, which the first category is, uh, is limericks. And I just want to say, I said this, I think, before, I don't know how much time because of all the distraction and, and my own, you know, COVID isolation down the stretch. And, uh, but for some unknown reason, you guys just on balance, those who attempted at least, I'm going to make a bold statement. You just suck at limericks. You just, I'm sorry. It's just not good. And here's the thing about limericks, okay? The thing about a limerick, yeah, sorry, Trent, is that, I wonder if Trent did any of the limericks that are in here. Um, no, there were only two limericks that made the cut. And here's the thing about limericks. There's a rhythm there's a, the rhythm has to be correct and it has to do with syllables. But da 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 That's one, two, and five. And then three and or three and four go, but da 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 da, but da 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 da, but da 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 da. That that's how it works. It has to have the cadence. If you blow the cadence, you blow the limerick. I'll give you two examples right now. But I but they were the closest thing we had to functional limericks. Okay, so I just want to apologize in in advance. Okay, Brandon. So it starts off. I take a much needed trip to Disneyland. There's no, you know, there's no cadence. Da 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 da. da. I managed to to do everything I had planned. And Brandon, if you're here, feel free to speak up for yourself and defend yourself. Okay, you know. You know that I'm not right, right? We all we all have already established the fact that I'm not always right. Um, I post my activities on Facebook, despite what my friends see when they look. My life is not this grand. The cadence is off, but I liked at least I liked I don't know enough of this one. Let's try the next one. And again, if you're if you're here and you want to and you want to defend yourself or or if anybody else wants to defend Brandon or anybody else whose stuff's going to come up here, please, I, you know, I, I don't want to be 
Mr. Harsh on the last day. But I like the message. I like the message. It's just hardly a limerick, though. Okay, here we go. Bryce, is Bryce here? Yeah, Bryce, I think you may be here to defend yourself. And this one is not even about technology, right, Bryce? So shame on you for that. But it, it has puppies, and damn it, we need puppies. You know, we need to rub little puppy tummies. So therefore, I went for it. I have a puppy who's a cutie. Her white coat is real big and floofy. That actually works, by the way, Bryce. The cadence is right. She shows me her tummy asking for a rubby. I guess I will do my duty. And then you blow the cadence on the last one. Shame, Bryce. <laughs> This is better than the last one from a cadence perspective, but but doesn't, unless the dog's a robot, there's no computers in society. But we all need more dogs. You know, no, we all need more puppies and more kittens. You know, we need more kittens in our life. Bryce, do you want to say anything or are you just going to let that one go? Yeah, I, I'm, most of these we will not belabor, but... We do, we do watch puppies on the on the internet. Okay, enough of that one. Let's go haiku, haiku. By the way, I did I did when doing these I did change I did do some editing for spelling mistakes, and there are some egregious ones that your generation apparently has no ability to comprehend the difference between lose and loose, for example, and how to spell the two. Uh, and and uh, in case you're wondering, well, how do you spell it? Whatever you think it is, that's wrong. Okay, that's that we know already. But let's go haikus. You know the rule of a haiku. Ideally, haikus have a certain, you know, Eastern mysticism, you know, and, and kind of Asian Zen flair to bring this kind of focus. That's, that's, you know, it's just Japanese poetry, my friends. Not yours are not all Japanese poetry, but haiku is intended to be. But here we go. Matthew. Bracing wintertime, a path cold Moab run, enjoying the rocks. Now, again, this has nothing. Well, Matthew, unless, unless you want to defend yourself, um, you know, this isn't patently about computers and society, but it's nice. It's nice. It just seemed, I don't know, like, again, we need, we need a break. I'm just going to keep going. Um, and when we're all done, I'd like everybody to unmute and we'll do one collective golf clap for everybody. But that was good. So good job, Matthew. Brandon also, what's that? <laughs> yeah, and by the way, there's no great ding. The only way to lose points on this one is to not do it. To not do two, you're supposed to submit two. The only way to lose any points is to do zero or one. There, there's, there's no, there's no subjective grading on this thing. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, like, because you hold yourself to a high standard. Okay, Brandon. By the way, haikus are best without titles, I think. But uh, a big risk to take creating a new service. Chance for great success. I like that. I like that, Brandon. Again, at any point, if if anybody wants to jump in, you know, whatever, defend yourself. Um, yeah, on Brendan's earlier, the other, not Brandon, but Brendan earlier defending that he is not Brandon. Excellent. Excellent. Duly noted. Gavin, again, we don't need the title. Mil and I liked this one. Militant machines, March, metal massacres, madness, minds merely matter. Yeah. A lot of, uh, a lot of alliteration going on there, Gavin. Nicely done. Um, Melissa. What makes a good man? We define morality. Who are we to say? Not bad. Not bad. I'm going to give you props, Melissa, for not bad. Brendan. Okay, this is Brendan, not Brandon. A man hates crypto. He doesn't understand it. It's me. I'm the man. <laughs> I like that one. I like the humility inherent in that one, right? Because really, at some level, it seems like none of us really get it. You know what I mean? None of us really, you know what I mean? It's all like still weird black, black art. Yeah. Good job, Brendan. Um, okay. Next one, Joseph. It's Joseph here. Uh, computers are dumb. Intelligence explosion. Wow. Humans were dumb. 
that's all right, right? It's got that reflective, that little bit of that humanity, the computers versus humanity reflection. Gives Joseph some props. Okay, Matt, the dead computer, pale green light after a dim ding, program failed to load. That's good. We agreeing on this one? I, I, I think this one's a good one. I usually try to figure out who I think maybe won each section, but okay, Jarrett, money makes you shine, either better or for worse. That depends on you. Yeah, it lacks a little Zen feel, but it but it works. I don't know. Maybe it has good Zen feel. You, you, you know, we established definitively that I can be wrong a, a non-zero percent of the time. Just, you know what I mean? These are just the old guy's opinions. So it, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean anything. You know what I mean? Okay, Jason, I mentioned some. Now I like this one. I mentioned something. It appears in my mailbox. Alexa heard me. Jason, I think that one. I think that one maybe wins the haikus. It, right? Did you ever see? There's a guy. Uh, man, he's got a Utah connection, but he's the guy who's like the mechanical engineer, used to be at NASA, and he does these like videos like uh, Squirrel Trap and, and he, what's the guy's name? But he's, he's like Utah boy. I don't know. Um, master's degree in mechanical engineering from BYU, I think. Mark Rober. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, he did a thing on, I think it was Jimmy Kimmel where they actually just just did like made made sure the volume was up on the on the broadcast and then they just spoke commands to alexa so that everybody who had alexa on would just like buy a thousand cupcakes or something i don't remember what it was exactly but it was like a practical joke you can play on a million people when you're doing network television yeah Anyway, no, I like that one, Jason. I, I'm giving Jason. I think this one maybe wins the haikus for my money. Uh, Jason also trying to debug. I should have made more comments. Just missed a colon. Yeah. There's another one also that there's a couple that have sort of like programmer angst and, and bad syntax, uh, you know, references. Jared, a world a bit off track. The incentives are all wrong. We must find a way. That's pretty good. Jared, we've survived so far. Maybe this time is different. What will save us now? I like that. Little, uh, <clears throat> little fatalistic, maybe. Just a little bit. Um, let's see, Zachary. This one again. It's it's not about computers and society unless it's about the sort of societal you know, the, the longing for the non-computer, which weirdly kind of counts, right? The clouds graze the moon, the moonlight sparkles in rain, small night rainbows dance. Okay, in the category of authentic haikus in the spirit of haikus, then this one wins the haikus in my, in my view. In the spirit of, it needs to be, you know, more directly about what the class, then I'm going to give Jason, going to give Jason. But, but anyway, Zach, I, I like that a lot. And this one, now, we didn't we talk about this one, um, about our inability to, to travel in a straight line and make your way out of a forest that you tend to go in circles? Is this, is this reference to that? I don't know if Zach's on. Um, but lost in the forest, circular trails form under. We've seen this before. In whether or not, it, do you remember we talk uh, us talking about there was some video or something we read about the inability of people to just walk straight out of a woods? Was that? I know I read or or listened to something like that this semester, but I don't know if if it was in the context of this class. If not, it is about history repeating itself, which I like. <clears throat> Okay, Eric, uh, this one I like a lot, okay? Last save forgotten, immeasurable pain felt, all progress is lost. That hits home. That, that's pretty good, pretty dang good. 
Another another syntactic uh, one, an error in code. Panic sets in and I'm doomed. Missed semicolon, Bradley. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Tyler, but how will we learn to admit lack of knowledge? That is how we'll learn. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Tyler wins the uh, extra points for mentioning the orders of ignorance directly or indirectly, okay? Um, by, and by the way, can I just say, I really hope that, uh, I really hope that th all the discussions we've had about the orders of ignorance and the sort of the quest for a humble place in our, in our quest for knowledge and understanding, you know, I hope that of all the things I hope you get out of the class, I hope that's one, you know, that's a big one. At least it's big for me and, you know, important to me. Okay, Tyler. Cancel our culture and blot our human failings. No more we become. Pretty good. That's also in the category of mentioning cancel culture. That, that definitely wins something. Braden, I just want access. I will tell a small lie, but I'm not a hacker. Okay, I like that one a lot. I really like that one a lot. Um, it it sort of speaks to that 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 sort of subjective morality that that you know relative morality. Colton, a grueling degree. Software engineering can be. Wonder why I'm here. Yeah, yeah, man. Absolutely. Okay, so that's the that's the haikus. Now the other poems. Some of these, I just they're long enough that I'm not going to read the whole thing. But I want you to just kind of look at them. But I think not not too bad on the haikus. And if you wrote a haiku and it didn't make it, I'm sorry. But we had to save everybody from your haiku and yourself. Okay. <laughs> you understand why I did this? It was for you. It was for all of you. Okay. Same with all of it, actually. And And we can't do all of them. You know, that would just be silly. But we did, we did a good chunk, though. Okay, other poems. This one here, Gavin, um, just, just give it a read. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to, like, pause, you know, 60 seconds or something. Um, I want to just say this, Gavin. I, I mean, I don't think this is Robert Frost. Let's be clear, or 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 Edgar Allan Poe. Poe, but but I think there's the nuggets of some really good poetry here. I, you know, I think the the nuggets. Right, right. So remember, we talked about writing and and meat verse meat versus mayonnaise. Right, monsters, creatures lurking, fingers curled, darkness screaming right? Rip and tear, um, monster whispering, you know, lend a hand and precious ear. These, there's a lot of meat words. There's a lot, a lot of meat in, in this language. So Gavin, man, this is good. I'm, I'm impressed. Um, again, I don't think it's finessed as poetry, but I think it has a lot of great, great stuff. Okay, next one. Um, and then let me... Actually, let me just scoochie this a little bit. All right. So check this out. Yeah, will we realize our diet is poor? Or will we double down and hide our problems behind likes and shares? I like this one a lot, Brendan. Um, I, I thought this was... You know, in, you know, starting with, you know, silicon is not edible, you know, yet we consume. Great imagery. Great. I, you know, this is, uh, it's a bold play to write this kind of poetry, you know? It's bold. So, you know, props to Brendan. I, I really like this one. Um, Joshua. Now, this one... Um, 
I, I want to read this one. Recording devices all around us held by people trying to cancel me. Is it something they would discuss? No, they just don't want me to be free. I must watch my every step lest I forever lose my rep. I like that a lot. I like it. it it's uh, again, it, it's sort of like embarking toward uh, being some some decent poetry and, and striking at some things. Also the free, the free reign poetry. And then at the very end goes to a rhyme. Um, I, I like that. Okay, Trent, this one's longer. I'm just going to let you look at this. I'll read it and, and take about that much time, 30 seconds from Trent. So I've never ever played Factorio, Trent. So if you want to, you want to, I don't know if you want to give a shout out to Factorio, but I like this a lot. Also, by the way, note the meat words: coal burning, ovens firing, spitters spitting, biters biting. Very little Dr. Seussish, almost right. Oil refining, iron mining. You know, there's a lot of great imagery. You know, flora smashed and forest burned. Uh, there's there's a lot of really um, some great imagery, some great use of language. So I, I like that a lot. There's a lot of that in this open poetry. Megan, um, give this one a read. I like this one a lot. Yeah, so so Megan, I like this one a ton. Um, it it to me it, it's meaningful because it it kind of drills a little more deeply into some of what you know. Some of the scariest things, right, are the are the idea that that these vendors know things about ourselves, right? Have you ever gotten whatever you you're you're jumping on on Insta, you're going on Facebook, or whatever you're, or just even in your email or whatever, and you get this you know, you're getting things, whatever, whatever it is on the platform that you're on and you're looking at them and you're like, what did I do that gave them the idea that I was going to be interested in this ad? You ever, you ever ha like have that conscious question like, whoa, you know, or there's, there, there's like several versions of that. One is how did they ever get the idea? I'd be interested in this. And then uh, the, the flip side of that one is, is you look at it and you're like, whoa, how did they know? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm quite interested in this. How did they know that? You know, was it that, was it that obvious, right? Um, and then the notion and pivots at the end, um, you know, to the, to the idea that, that the company's not just reading me, but maybe writing, maybe writing me, maybe I'm read, write, you know? So... <laughs> Good work, good work, Megan. I like that a lot. I thought I, I thought um, uh, just a lot of depth to to some key ideas that we've talked about. Um, Natalina, let's just give this one a read again. <clears throat> there was a lot more uh, open, free, free, what whatever you would call that sort of free form poetry than them normally than we normally get. Yeah, so this one I thought was really good. I thought it was really, really good. Um, again, some decent meat words going on. Um, you know, which is why each day is the same routine and we never leave. It is, this like strikes it at this one. So not to leave it, this one really kind of like hooks my heart a little bit, you know, because I think it, it really nails down and teases out so many really great ideas. But you see, also, do you, you understand, are you seeing now why I wanted you to write poetry? You know, it's a different way of we can process linearly and we can process algorithmically and deliberately and deterministically, like we're training you to do in all these other classes. But as we think about these things that, that center around our humanity, 
there's an opportunity to let you know to uncork that other side of the brain the that more creative side whether it's music or or whatever it happens to be um so anyway yeah no good work good work tongue people need a cause some will find some will create some driven with hate i like that a lot and another one very short one but life is short or so they say the goal is to play or aspire away nice i like that um pedro um give this a read everybody yeah i like this okay moving on all right so that was the that was the poems i don't know there were there were a number that really hooked me in the poems i i can't i can't say who won the poems um and then comes the very short stories. What's interesting is I first, before I ever used very short stories as a way of teaching writing, um, I, I first had it show up in the literary extravaganzas and then it turned into a good way to teach writing. So let's take a peek. Joshua, Infinity War is about a cancel culture activist writing, ridding the world of those who disagree with him, disguising himself as environmental. Is that a real thing? I didn't like... Josh, is that, um, is Infinity War like an actual series or an actual thing? Or was it, I, I didn't like double check. Oh, Infinity War, the, the Marvel movie. I wasn't even thinking of it. No, I didn't even, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Nice. No, in fact, I have right here, believe it or not, a list of all the Marvel movies and two years ago, I started working my way back through them. Just didn't click. Um, and part of the reason is that there's a classic sci-fi novel called, I think it might be called The Infinity War. And I think that was what was actually stuck in my head, by, I believe, by Joe Haldeman. Or the, no, it was called The Forever War. That stuck in my head. Man, that's, so that's like, okay, yeah, yeah. If you had to drop some Thanos in there, then I then the, the connection would have been obvious. That's just old guy, old guy being dumb for a moment. Yeah, fair enough. Like, is that a real thing? Yeah, Marvel. No, it's not real, Chuck. It's make believe. It's Marvel Universe. Okay, let me keep going. Thanks for thanks for uh, educating me, Josh. Uh, Lincoln. Okay, a picture is worth a thousand words, but it does not tell the whole story. What it does not see is the emotion, although it tries. I like that. Trent, I often forget about holidays. However, I am abruptly reminded of the new year when I go to the gym and it's packed with resolutioners. Now that's a derogatory term, isn't it? Because isn't it just great that they're there? Trent, Trent, you hypocrite. <laughs> we all have to start sometime. No, it's hate. Thank you, Trent. It's intentional hate speech. Nice, nice resolutioners it's the new hate language yeah <laughs> stay out of my church of iron ah excellent excellent that's fantastic love it love it okay jacob days weeks months it's been coming discussion work improvement has resulted what matters is it is finally over on to next semester the end of semester angst okay here's a question uh I'm going to put it, I'm going to drop a survey just inspired by Trent. Um, question. Uh, and this is a yes, no. Cause we're heading into the new year. Have you ever set a new year's resolution and had it stick for a long time, like years? Uh, wait for my, there we go. Drop that and drop me a yes. Drop me a Y or an N. Have you ever set a new year's resolution and had it stick for a long time, like for years? And, and by the way, for me, the answer is yes. And I often, I often, um, I'm clicking the Y. I often set a new year's resolution and it's because it is like a pivot time. So nice. Way to get us thinking about the new the new year. How are we doing on time? We're doing great on time. Thanks, Jacob, for making us think about that. 
Matt, life without connection is impossible. A phone to talk, a computer to research. Eventually, technology will depend on us as much as we do it. Nice. Um, and now Trent's backing up because he doesn't want to be canceled by us because of his anti-resolution or speech. It's too late, Trent. There's nothing you can do now to repent. <laughs> nothing you can do, Trent. It's way too late. It's already, it's already out there. Ah, okay. Cancel culture. Natalina, we, we search for the worst in others, all while concealing our own faults, just to feel that moral superiority course through our veins. It's definitely that. Nice. Eric, raising the VR visor, a dim room replaces the vivid light, sounds and colors. I stare at the ceiling. When will fantasy become reality? That's a good one. Um, I feel a little bit, uh, I got to admit that I have never, I haven't actually, this is going to, I'm going to say something that's going to be really strange. The last time I had a virtual reality headset on my head, well, there was one time that I tried one on in the last decade. And the last time before that, that I actually owned a virtual reality headset was, I think it was 1996. I owned a virtual reality headset in the mid nineties. Mostly it was just a 3d goggle set. You know, it wasn't what we know of today. Right. Anyway. Uh, good job, Eric. Okay. Pedro, this one hard to, hard to really read, you know, out loud. So just, just take a peek. Um, and I like this one a lot, Pedro. I like while awake life equals productive. That's a big caveat, by the way, that's a big, that's a big escape clause, right? While awake. Okay, there's my out. How, how long am I going to be awake? Yeah, nice. Good job, Pedro. I like that one. Creative, right? It's it's pretty creative, and I like that. What are you going to say? Okay, yeah, nice. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Too bad it doesn't work like that. Okay, here's other stuff that was done. Okay, there's about half a dozen of these. They tend to be visual rather than than uh, textual. Branson, series of tubes. Do you have anything you want to say in defense of yourself, sir? Um, and there's and there's Ted Stevens. Now, did you? And there was so Branson. You built this, right? Or was this one that you went, are you, really? I mean, wow, does it actually work? If you, oh, nice, nice. Do you want to, I mean, do you mind dropping a, a link in the chat in case, in case, you know, people want to uh, take a peek? Well, that's even more impressive. Um, so yeah, nice. But I like there's that there. That's definitely him. I mean, he passed away some years back. You know, went to that big, that big dump truck in the sky. So nice, nice work, Branson. Um, that's a lot of. Hopefully, it was fun. Okay, Melissa. Can I? I. Uh, Melissa is Melissa here. I just want to say I think this like won the whole the whole stinking thing. Um. I, are you digging this? This is, I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. It just keeps hooking me, you know, because obviously it's watercolor and it's great, but, but just that whole, you know, I don't know. Any thoughts on this one? Yeah. It's gorgeous and thought provoking as Bryce said. Brandon says, <laughs> Melissa's effort is greater than many, many times greater than your haiku. 
Excellent. But anyway, this just hooked me, Melissa. So props. This this was like, I don't know. I, anybody, I'm not the only one, right? That this is like, it, it's got me thinking about, it's that overlay of the technology. Like you're admiring the watercolor and just right in the middle is like, and then, but it's like, I don't know. There's so much, there's so much depth. It's really simple, but it then just speaks to a lot of depth. So yeah, I'm with Bryce. Much respect. Um, good work, Melissa. Uh, this one's, this one actually like surprised and shocked me because it was so thought provoking and, and very simple, you know, and beautiful. I mean, the watercolor, the clouds, especially, you know, the rest of the thing is supposed to be kind of dark sunset. You don't, see it but the clouds are just beautiful uh, so yeah man a lot of respect good work melissa okay bryn would you like to speak up for yourself <laughs> this is awesome this is fantastic a anything you anything at all you want to say bryn or are you good uh Ah, yeah, yeah, fair enough. It could also do with, no, I loved it. I loved it. I thought a lot of the, the lot of the linear, the, the kind of the harsh lines could do with, with like stark color. You get that R2D2 effect, right? With, with the little colored lines and stuff. I don't know, but I thought it was just fantastic. Really, really well done. Very impressed. Um, what else? This one here, Jarrett. I love this. What it means. Is Jarrett here? What it means. Yeah, stock photos for the win, right? But uh, thank you, Branson, for the link. Thing. For, for those that are interested in, in scouting it. Yeah, I, lo I really did love it. And I just, I really love the look on this guy's face. You know what I mean? It's just kind of, it's got that, you know, it, clearly it's like meme face. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, no, it's, uh, I, I think even the fact that it's obviously coming from a stock photo maybe makes it even that much better because that's, you know, that's part of the artist's intent, you know, sort of thing. I don't know. I really like this. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Okay, Jared. Is Jared here? Again, I don't know if this if this had I liked it a lot. I didn't know if this was more if there was deeper meaning, you know, behind it. You know, you know, if Jared was here and wanted to kind of explain a little bit, but just graphically, visually, I thought it was very cool. Captures an emotion, right? For sure. Okay, Megan. You have to, do you want to explain yourself here at all? <laughs> this also, you know what, you know what I thought, Megan, what I thought this should be titled and you know, my opinion counts for nothing. Right. But I thought that the title that came into my head was, well, that escalated quickly was the way that that's the title that popped into my head for this thing. Of, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's only one step for like beer dude. You know what I mean? We go, <laughs> we don't even get to, uh, to Neanderthal man before beer dude and then boom robots, you know? So I thought it was brilliant. I really thought it was fantastic. Um, yeah. All right. Um, all right. So that's, that's it for, for this current group. So what I would like to do just so everyone can feel that satisfaction is everybody just unmute your mic, you know, by the count of like three, and then let's just give everybody a golf clap for the current presenters. Get your mics unmuted. Okay. Ready? Go. Yeah. You know, it ain't, it ain't much. It ain't much from a from a reward perspective, but you know what I mean. I we, you know, I think we kind of gotten to know each other, and and that's a little bit a little bit of human props, right? 
Um, I usually kind of haul around with me some, some greatest hits from past semesters. And this goes way back. I just kind of hung on to some of the best ones. Um, this one, and these were all from students in my class, either here at UVU or the equivalent class at BYU. I like this one. One does not simply get a five on a blog post. Um, now, this one was a haiku, a haiku written as an equation. It also nails the cadence. So I wanted to show this at you. I have to read it. Integral z squared dz from 1 to the cube root of 3 times the cosine of 3 pi over 9 is the log of the cube root of e. Boom! That's the cadence. Okay, let me keep going. Always listening, invading our privacy, keeping us secure. Nice. Uh, Greg, that's my idea. I was first to use linked lists. I'll see you in court. I like that one a lot. Again, I like these because I'm tracking them along with me through past semesters. Some of yours will, will go into the greatest hits. Never talks to me, but thumbs up every status. My Facebook stalker. That's that's ominous and terrifying. Um, Nathan, short story. They told us that we were nerds who didn't have friends, and then they gave us coding projects until it became true. That resonate with anybody? About now? You're like, I don't know. Talk to me when my compiler's done. Okay. I, we met on Twitter. Hashtag no love. I wooed her on MySpace. We dated on Facebook and married in World of Warcraft. I found her Flickr page. We broke up. I like. Jeff, walking through cyberspace, I bumped into a long lost friend. We laughed and cried, then disconnected, just like real life. And I like this one because I think that cyber life sometimes gets this universal bad rap when the reality is real life, it's still at some level a mirror of our real life. It more just accelerates it or accentuates it, you know? Okay, Udip, I poke, she pokes, I request, she accepts, I like, she comments, we chat, we are in a relationship, we break up, I delete, she blocks. I like that a lot. Uh, I cancel you and you cancel me until we're all free with herd immunity. This one happened during the pandemic. <laughs> so that was like last year sometime. Uh, that was from some some UVU student. Uh, that's pretty good. Another another way to apply the herd immunity thing from our COVID adventures of the last two years. Who, after swiping right on hundreds of girls, I finally got a match. Now I just got to find a way to explain to her that I'm not the person in the picture. Ouch, ouch. What about this one? Check this one. This is a rotationally symmetric ambigram. What's it say? And I'll give you a hint. It's a shout out to Cringely. Anybody? Bueller? Yeah, it does hurt the eyes. Triumph? Keep going. Triumph of the nerds. It says triumph of the nerds in both directions. I'm going to keep going. Okay, Krista. Now, we did not talk a lot about women in computing. But, but this was done a number of years back by uh, one of my students at BYU, Krista, who was great, by the way. But I just thought this captured just such an amazing emotion Girlfriends, are we? Are you with me on this? Love it, right? I mean, is that not how? I mean, I don't know, right, from my own experience, but right. I mean, it's it just because what I like about it is it doesn't just say something, but it it embodies an emotion, right? A, a little a feeling of an isolation in a crowd, right? And we do need more women in computing. I I absolutely believe it. We didn't talk a lot about it. Um, which is just, that's my fault and not even because I don't have intent, but I love this, love this from Krista. Um, and by the way, um, 
welding. Wow, welding and there were only two girls. Yeah, the coolest thing about this picture too is that that actually looks like Krista. I mean, it's based on her. So like when I see the picture, I remember Krista and she was such a great student. And uh, anyway, yeah, keep going. This one, Ian, man, this guy, this is a, is, is, it's Hamlet soliloquy, but it's about, it's about Richard Stallman and the open source movement. To be, to be free, so, to be free software or not to be, that is the question. And the thing is, if you keep going, it's really based on Hamlet's soliloquy and it's, Tremendous. I will give you just a, uh, 30 seconds to read it for those that want to give it a give it a run through. <laughs> Not bad, right? <clears throat> okay, I'm going to keep going. Check this one out. I can't, I can't read this one to you. You have to just look at this one. And I'm going to scooch it just a little bit for you. Not bad, right? Pretty creative, visually creative. Uh, Shades of E.E. E. Cummings, one of my favorite poets. Uh, let me see what else we got. Oh yeah, this one, I don't even know if I can do this and have it come through on the audio, but there is a video on my uh, YouTube channel and I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna drop the link so you can just watch it, but if we were in class, I'd just be able to play it for you. Uh, I just don't know if I play it, if it's if the audio is going to come through. That's been one of my sort of perpetual struggles. But I'll drop the link on it. So basically, Josh was a guy, is a guy. Josh is my friend. Uh, that was about, man, I want to say at least 10 years ago. I'm going to have it for you here in just a second. I'm scrolling through all the videos on my on my YouTube channel, Carver Blues. And what what's going on here is Josh wrote a song for his literary extravaganza. Oh, this was 2011. This was 10 years ago. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, hang on. Dropping, dropping the link for the video. And he wrote this thing called uh, Programmer Blues. And I was like, and I listened to it. And Josh is this amazing uh, harmonica player. He's also an amazing fiddle player. Um, just an amazing musician. He's also a really great drummer. Um, but he wrote this song called The Programmer Blues. And I was listening to it. And I'm just like, hey, that's just, it's a 12 bar blues, you know, uh, key of C. And so I just said, hey, Josh, what if we just did it together in class, you know? So I brought my, gla I brought my uh, sunglasses. We, we each brought our sunglasses. And um, I brought my guitar and we had never practiced it before we went live on this thing. Um, what I guess I don't know, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try to uh, see if by chance, let me see something. I'm going to just start playing it. And I guess the question is, tell me if you hear it on Discord and or tell me if you hear it on uh, YouTube. And I won't belabor it. If, if it's not streaming on YouTube, I'll just leave the link. Um, and also on YouTube, you can see the link up there just before I, I expand it. Let me just see if you can hear it, okay? And then just let me know right away how it's how it's going audio-wise. No, I can't even hear it. Hang on. I can't even hear it through my headphones. Can anybody hear it? 
from where you're at? Nah. Anyway, yeah, and I don't think you can hear it on YouTube either. But basically, it was the first time we had done this thing, and it's really worth it's really worth it. Okay. Um, what I'm what I'm curious about though is now all the all the audio is going back through my headphones. What I could do. Nah, it's not worth thinking with it. But go check it out. But but Josh is just an amazing harmonica player. And then and this guy over here, the old man, uh, you also get to see what I looked like 10 years ago with no beard. Uh, and he's just, you know... Oh, it's going through on YouTube? Wow. Everybody, now, that's, a, that's an irony. Everybody gets it except for... Um, well, let me. It's only two more minutes. Anyway, if if you want to jump over onto YouTube, and just and just watch that, it was really fun. But we had never we had never done the thing until we were live. Yeah, should I just go with the sample? Should we decide to pause that and kind of roll with the sample? You can kind of keep watching it on YouTube. Again, there's the there's the link up here for those watching it. Or I bet you're probably thinking, Dr. K, shut up, man. All right, I put the link in the description. So that'll now have that in the description when the video posts. All right, I'm going to pause it. I'm going to pause it. But you get the feel for it. It's pretty, it was pretty fun. And uh, like I said, Josh is a good friend. I'm going to just take that down. But just wanted to say, you know, Dr. K, equal opportunity, literary extravaganza participant. Um, you got to roll that way, you know. And I think that is the end of the literary extravaganza. So, all right, let me see. Let me, let me kill that. All right. Okay. Cool. Anyway, go go check that out on YouTube. If I, I think you'll find it interesting. Sound gets it was just somebody who was just recording on their phone, uh, and sound gets a little muffled down the stretch. But um, anyway, that's all I've got for uh, that's what we got for the literary extravaganza. Um, are there any other any other like last? Um, Let me see. Any last questions or comments or anything? We're about out of time. Definitely don't want to go late today. But um, I, I want to just say that I, well, number one, I want to just remind everybody, do the SRIs. Um, but I wanted to just say that that I've, I thought that the on balance, not, even, not, not on balance, almost universally, the the comments the contribution the thoughtfulness you know that that everybody's contributed to the discussion i saw we had some amazing you know amazing discussions with everybody throwing in and and you know some really heartfelt comments and and good opinions and a lot of respect always respectful um you know a lot of humility a lot of a lot of willingness to to learn and just kind of roll with the experience, you know, just try to have the experience. I, I want to apologize profusely for not doing the writing workshops. Um, it's just been a convergence. It's just been, it's just such a long story. Um, and I know you're like, it's okay, Dr. K, but those usually are really, really 
neat experiences to do the writing workshop. So regret not doing that. But um, but I, I really just thought that you guys were just a fantastic group, um, you know, and and that, you know, we all kind of practice what we preached in terms of respect and dignity and have some fun and be able to joke about, you know, joke about things without taking everything too seriously, but also, you know, treat seriously the topics that need to be treated seriously. And there's kind of that, that, that balancing act, you know, that's always kind of in play. But anyway, I wanted to just personal thanks to all of you for, for really kind of a highlight for my semester, being able to, to work through those things, talk through those things with you. So that's all I got. Unless you got any last uh, comments, thoughts, drop, you know, hit me up on DM. I'm going to Italy tomorrow. So good luck uh, on the Code of Ethics, the video, and um, I'll get to grading all that stuff. You know, I'll wrap up grades while I'm in Italy. But uh, good luck with all your other stuff that you've got to try to get done. That's all I got, my friends. All righty, take care. If you're out there, drive safe.